Hello guys, this is Vaish. So this is the fourth video related to editorials I am doing today because I am trying to catch up all the things which we missed in the last 7-8 days. So hopefully you are also having the same passion for UPSC exam and you are studying from all these things because everything is completely free. Okay, and if you miss these chances later after the exam, you will regret and you will notice that questions came directly from all these things. So please see to that you are subscribing and supporting and watching every video because in both English and Hindi, we have lectures now available for you. So January 28th quiz, which we did in the last video, I will tell you the answers first. So Ministry of Higher Education was found guilty of nepotism and asked to resign by Lokayukta in. Okay, so a particular state is trying to amend the Lokayukta rules through an ordinance hurriedly because the ministers of its own party are being caught for nepotism, corruption and all these things and are being asked to resign. Okay, so that resigning power which the Lokayukta is having, okay, asking someone to resign, that they are trying to amend. So that state is actually Kerala. Okay, the article in detail I have discussed, please go and watch the editorial. Now, according to ILO, International Labour Organization, the share of formal workers in India is about how much? Okay, like what percentage of uh, formal workers are there in India? It's actually less than 10 percentage. It is around 9.7 percentage. Okay, I have discussed a detailed article on formalization of Indian economy. There I have explained all these things. So please go and watch it. It will help you in your GS3 economics paper. Now, New START Treaty relates to what? So New START Treaty. Actually, there was a START Treaty earlier and then later came a New START Treaty. And I think now that also is now slowly uh, gone away. So that is actually between USA and Russia. This is actually to limit the number of nuclear warheads you can use. So they both had a mutual agreement and that was there during uh, earlier administration time. But now I think it is not there. Okay, so please go and research, research about that. Now Russia joined WTO around which time? Actually, Russia joined in... Uh, 2012 okay it was a very late around the 156th member to join wto so this uh, all the three are wrong russia never joined wto is wrong russia was one of the founding members is wrong russia and india joined together is wrong everything is wrong okay like actually india is can, can be told the founding member because india is there even before wto that is gatt which was the predecessor of wto that time also india was there so india joined early but russia did not join so answer is none of these because it joined in 2012 and none of the options matches it now, which of the following are true about European Reassurance Initiative? The actually name is European, but this is actually a scheme which USA started. That too, after 2014, when uh, Russia annexed uh, Crimea, okay, when Russia annexed Crimea of Ukraine, USA wanted to give an assurance to the European countries that we are there with you. So, they were actually trying to boost or promote their NATO initiative and try to make all the European countries come under the NATO. So that is why the biggest fight started again. It's like Cold War 2.0 between USA and Russia. And every day US-Russia article is coming. And if, the, if there are interesting points, new points, I'm discussing it also every day. So unless you are a very keen observer, keen reader of the editorial yourself or watching my lectures, I am sure that later in the exam, you are going to struggle. Okay, please don't buy hard coaching institute notes and things and all because that will be highly filtered or copy pasted from here and there. You have to read the original editorial and that is what I am giving it to you for free. Now, today's quiz, January 29, based on the editorial which I uploaded some time back. Today, I think at least three to four videos I have already uploaded. So please uh, try to appreciate the effort by just giving a like and comment because we can continue only with your support. So which of the following Central Asian country is not part of the International North-South Corridor? Okay, so first you should know which are the Central Asian countries. Then you should know what is International North-South Corridor. Only then you will be able to tell which of them is not part of it. Okay, so if you see here, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, all are part of the uh, uh, International North-South. Uh, sorry, it's all part of uh, Central Asian countries. Okay, and one more is that Turkmenistan is also there. So that I'll already tell you now, Turkmenistan is not a part of this thing okay not a part of international north south corridor but out of this four one of them is also not a part meaning out of this four only three are part of international north south corridor one is not a part so which is that one like turkmenistan who is not part of international north south corridor that is the question now second one who is the master of roster and supreme court meaning who is the one who allocates the cases or who decides like which bench should do what so that who is the one who decides it is it the chief justice of india alone he does it or chief justice of india along with two senior judges he does it or there is a permanent 11 member constitutional bench which decides all these things or is it the union law minister this you have to tell me who is the master of roster in supreme court now electoral bonds are issued in denominations ranging from meaning whether you can go a 5 rupee bond you can buy a 10 rupee bond you can buy a 100 rupee bond that range from what range to what range in multiples you can buy that you have to tell is it from 10 rupees to 10 crore is it from 100 rupees to 100 crore is it from rupees 1000 to 1 crore or is it like none of these maybe all these are made up options or there is something else so which is the range this also i have taught you in the editorial now methi is a community, Methi in the valleys, living in the valleys, and this Kuki Zomi living in the hills. This was in news. Okay, so which state is it related to? 
is it arunachal pradesh is it himachal pradesh is it manipur is it nagal sorry is it mizoram so this one tell me <coughs> uh, which <coughs> sorry which state are these communities part of okay you basically always ask match the following their tribal languages their uh, culture their dressing their food their geographical indication there are many things which you basically ask so you have to know these factual information okay so next one telangana greyhounds okay this was in news so what is this referring to what is this telangana greyhounds is it a commando forces group is it the dog squads which they have is it the amicus query which the uh, judges appoint for looking into some particular issue or is it none of these so what is this telangana greyhounds which was in news so these are questions which is like prelims oriented okay but in the article side discuss a lot of mains oriented stuff and that is where you are differentiating from a non serious aspirant okay you if you are a serious aspirant you should be preparing prelims and mains parallelly and you should be thorough with everything okay if you don't have that passion if you don't have that interest i am sorry to say that later you will struggle so please please you have seen this editorial quiz directly please go and watch the editorial video first okay and every day follow that pattern every day i am putting this much effort just to make you the best aspirant in the country so i expect something in return that is your likes and subscription and a sincere preparation towards this uh, whole series okay so please tell me in comment section what you feel about this and based on your comments i'll keep continuing please subscribe and connect me with in, with me in whatsapp and instagram i'll come with the next video thank you and have a nice day